perspective perspective is so important and you have to be when you're having conversations that are not just health felt but maybe deep and some conversations you don't want to have but you have to have because some people cannot really move on without having a conversation even though y'all still have good times together like me and my son and my daughter and we connect and we we love each other as a family and we spend a lot of time with each other we end up breaking out into little, like maybe like small arguments Testing one two one two. It's been a long day, and you just wanna go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna feel out a day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Okay, Joe. I'll be at home early. Okay, Joe. Love you too. Mm, I hate the lights. Oh. It's a hot day, y'all. Dream kept telling me, Mom, you're going to be hot. You're going to be hot. Y'all, while well, I'm starting to feel hot, I'm hot. Yesterday I was so cold. Nothing could warm me up. Now I'm hot. I'm getting ready to go get me something cold to drink, and I got a few errands to run, but guess what today is? Today, I'm getting ready to go pick up the packages. So, yeah, I'm going to pick up the packages. I'm so excited. So, no, nobody don't have to ask me, yeah, did you get my package? Did you get my package? You're going to know if I got your package. I'm going to make them look three times, okay? Because I even call them every time I got a package. Hey, I got a package. Okay. I like to let it pile up because I have to drive a lot, to, to and gas costs a lot. Okay, y'all. Hopefully, every everybody that sent me a box or sent me a gift or sent me a email, I'm not even a letter, sent me a letter. I hope that everything is here and nothing is lost. But yes, I am finally here picking up all the packages. I cannot wait to share them with y'all because I do have love for y'all. But you know, everything is on God's timing, y'all. I just want y'all to know that. Just because I don't do things exactly when y'all want me to doesn't mean that I don't care for you and doesn't mean that I don't love you and I don't have you in my heart. I am moving on God's timing. Just understand that when I say that. But yeah, I'm getting the packages today. And today, y'all, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the time. I got so much I want to talk to y'all about. 
but I, I, I'm not going to like focus on all the stuff that I want to say. I think God kind of led me in a new direction today. So I'm going to talk to y'all about some real stuff. Okay. All right. Today I had a very deep and very passionate at sometimes it was it was very sad and sometimes there were tears and at some point there we laugh but with my children with Nadine and Dream and they're grown I say children because they, they I'm the mom and they'll always be my babies like a lot of y'all a lot of y'all will always be spirits baby you know some of y'all are like my sister vibe and some of y'all are or like my friend vibe. I have a lot of people who see me as mama. I have some people who see me as grandmama. Cause I get and I get it. Cause I, I was I was a young grandma. I, I don't think I'm like granny granny yet. But I will be there one day. But they say I remind them of their grandma. I had someone leave me a comment. I gotta find it, but not right now. That was saying spare you you remind me so much of my grandmother. I, that that's just so heartwarming because I love my grandmother. I love her to the core. And if I remind you of somebody that showed you so much love, that is a huge compliment, and I appreciate that. Especially when people say I, that I remind them of their mom. And not that I look like them, but the love and the, the vibe that I give off. You know, so I appreciate that if y'all feel love and feel good when um, y'all connect to me. Okay. So the conversation this this morning wasn't even supposed to have had what's going on. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't get my packages the way that I went to. The person that um, that's inside today uh, is not feeling well, so I have to wait to the other attendant. Y'all know to come. And a lot of y'all talk to him on the phone when y'all calling about y'all packages. So he's supposed to be here today. So I'm going to come and swing back by. He said he'll be here somewhere between 4 o'clock or I'll be here tomorrow morning. I'm hoping I can get it today because I have so much stuff on my agenda. I don't want to have to keep driving over here. Uh, this is way across town. It costs so much gas. I just put gas in the gas tank and I'm going to have to get gas. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, and now I gotta go back across town do something. So hopefully I'm gonna come back this way and I'm gonna check again. But anyway, um, I'm gonna finish talking to y'all when I get a chance. Yeah, so I just ordered me a venti vanilla bean with oat milk and lavender cream. But the young lady said that she's gonna put the lavender at the top, cream at the top, instead of whipped cream. I was just thinking, I don't know why, but that thought about, I said, you know what? I need to look in the grocery store. You know how you shopping for your groceries and you, I always get vanilla cream. I wonder if I'll be able to get lavender cream because I actually really, really like it. But I'm going to really enjoy this Starbucks, um, my uh, Starbucks drink today because I'm really hungry. Like I'm hungry. I haven't had um, no breakfast. Uh, my son cooked dinner for us last night. He cooked dinner for us, but Nadine couldn't eat because Nadine's fasting. So um, he was going to save it, but I told him I don't think he should because he cooked like a cod, like a codfish, a steak fish. And that was the only thing I had. Dream made um, steak fish, some carrots, and that's it. And I just had like a tiny bit of hot sauce. I enjoyed my food, but I woke up so hungry because when Dream cooked, that was the only thing I ate too. I didn't have breakfast, lunch, a snack. I didn't have anything, which is unlike me. I usually have at least a snack or something, um, but I was okay with uh, what Dream cooked because of traveling and stuff. So I was just like exhausted and tired. Oh man, when I tell y'all, I tell y'all Dream cooked that food he cooked like he was in an upscale restaurant it was so good my son can really cook and i loved it because i love when nadine cooked for me and i love when dream cooked for me it just feels so good when i don't have to do the cooking you know and my son definitely has um good spices it was just so good he told me that he had he he rubbed his fish down into like a steak rub y'all but he made sure he didn't use lemon because he know that i cannot have the lemon but y'all, I didn't miss the lemon at all. It was so freaking delicious. Um, but this morning, I did want to grab some actual food. I was going to eat some watermelon, but then I said, dang, 
you know, because when I when I have watermelon, it kind of turns on the waterworks, you know, whatever I'm swollen, whatever's going on. I'm tired. I don't. I think I'm swollen today too, you know. Uh, I know I'm swollen today, but I don't know if it hit this area. But when I have watermelon, all of that's all of that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? So I got too much to do today. So uh, I didn't grab. Uh, Dream did ask me did I want him to make me some eggs, but yeah, I didn't have a taste for eggs. I don't know what it is. When I come off of travel, I feel like I eat so kind of like uh, limited and healthy that the thought of eggs kind of just made me feel like queasy. Like I don't want no eggs, <laughs> even though I know it would have been good. Hi. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Thank you. I wish Nadine was getting her car. Okay, y'all. She was super sweet. Super, super sweet. But look. See the lavender? Can you see it? It's lavender at the top. And then it's creamy all the way down. Just a vanilla bean made with oat milk. It looks so good, y'all. It looks so good. So last time, I know it was real delicious because the lavender was uh, all the way through. But you know, East Starbucks is different. So they try to uh, accommodate you with what you want. So if you want it all mixed up, you probably had to tell them to just mix the oat milk and cream, you know. Because the other person really mixed it for me. Ah, exactly what I needed just to get on with my day. Okay, I'm trying one more time with the post office. Don't mean it's going to be... Um, successful as far as getting my packages today it just depends on if the main person that helps me when I get my packages is there okay so getting back to uh, me Nadine and Jereen okay so this morning um, things started out good we was just having really really good conversations and I, I noticed um, through the conversations things start to get a little bit intense and that's why I say, like, when you're dealing with people, perspective. Perspective is so important. Let me turn down the car so I don't feel like, tur turn off the car so I don't feel like I'm yelling. And you have to be, when you're having conversations that are not just help felt, but maybe deep and some conversations you don't want to have, but you have to have because some people cannot really move on without having a conversation even though y'all still have good times together like me and my son and my daughter and we connect and we we love each other as a family and we spend a lot of time with each other we end up breaking out into look like maybe like small arguments because something is deep rooted and they don't know how to really um bring it to the surface so what happens is some stuff just don't make sense and then they blurt out something that happened from the past and that's what i'm going to tell y'all stuff from the past come up sometimes and you have to resolve it especially if you love each other and you plan on being in each other's life me my son and nadine were really talking this morning first it wasn't me and nadine. it was it was me and Nadine talking, then it was Nadine and Dream, then it was me and Dream, then it ended up all three of us. And I found myself in the middle. I never, ever get in, like, the middle of any type of heated conversation um, between my kids. I always try to stay very um, calm and very uh, neutral. I try not to, like show too many expressions as if I'm on this person's side, I'm on that person's side. I understand what this person's saying, but I don't understand what that person's saying. I never like literally mess with them when they start getting into the thing. Even when they were younger, when they needed to argue, they argue. When they wanted to fight to get it out, they fought. You know what I'm saying? Like physically, they fought. They beat each other up. And that was when they were younger. But as they got older, they didn't do that. But when they got into... Um, just trying to get their point across, I stayed out of it because they're uh, their siblings and they're having conversations. And that's unless they ask me what I think in my opinion, which most of the time they won't. Like, I, I, I don't have a kids that be like, well, Ma, what you think? What you, how you feel about this? Da, 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 da. No, they literally resolve things between themselves. And I come in if I really absolutely have to and I, and I never really do and it's like I feel like this is like 
maybe one of the few times that I intervened and I'm glad I did. Okay, y'all, I got my packages. I'm so happy about the packages. So I'm in the middle of trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. I got a taste for like a Chipotle bowl and some chips or either um, a salate salad. Something in those lines, like some type of bowl with rice and beans in it and some tortilla chips, something like that. That's what I want to eat. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so dealing with family, even when you have something on your chest that you really have to get out, you still have to be open-minded that you still have to listen uh, to the other parties because perspective is something else. And just because you feel intense or you feel upset about something the other person may not have no idea or just clueless of where you're coming from and you ever deal with family and y'all talking about one thing and then they start to throw up things from way in the past and years ago that you might have either forgot about it or you you have memory blockage or you just uh, you didn't process it because you moved on from the situation where the other person might not have moved on for the situation. That's why everybody's story um, could be different. Sometimes when stuff happens, um, people take some stuff from it. Um, I like, like uh, with me, um, a lot of stuff happened to me in my life that goes down that um, I have to deal with. But I try to take some good stuff from a situation. And if I can't take nothing good from it, I try to take what kind of lesson that I could learn from this situation going left or didn't go the way that I wanted to or just um, didn't pan out, um, the, you know, on like in a good note. It didn't pan out in a good note. But what can I pull from this situation personally for myself? And I might store that in my heart or in my memory something like that okay so um and we we have so many conversations today so many conversations and then all of a sudden nadine and dream was having a conversation and dream started to elevate and uh me and nadine was just like wait a minute okay calm down we just have a conversation and uh, we're trying to say what we got to say, but Dream was getting like louder and kind of like um, just getting out his points, but not letting us respond to what he was saying. So he would say something and I give you an example and I would say, um, what are you talking about? Um, what's going on? Because I'm so confused and my son took a current situation that we were all just conversating about just having a, a, a conversation and he went way back in the past but didn't tell us that he was way back in the past we knew he was way back in the past but didn't, but he didn't tell us like exactly where was he at what time frame he in what's going on like we were so confused so then when he said this was his words he said that he he before he said what he said he he starts saying to me that have you ever wonder why i'm so good to women have you ever wonder why i'm able that women um um are able to relate to me they're able to connect to me they may be to understand me have you ever wondered why i do this or have you ever wondered why this do you have just do you do and, and do you say well uh why do dream do this and why the dream do that and why the dream do that and i honestly was like i was i was confused so i was just like honestly i don't i don't think about that i don't think of like i don't be like why the dream do that why did he act like this why did he do this and why he, i don't i don't think like that i don't think like that and i said okay dream i am lost and he's like he was talking to nadine too and nadine was trying to tell him that we don't we don't feel that way like what are you talking about so um i told dream i said dream when we think of you we think of you in love we think of you in a high um vibration of love 
Like when I when I think of my son, I think about love. You know what I'm saying? And when Nadine think about dream, when she talk about dream, she talk about dream in such the positive light. Like she loved dreams so much. We don't think about um, dream in a negative light whatsoever. We don't judge him on whatever he got going on. We don't do stuff like that. We don't even, our thought process don't even come to us to even do anything like that. So when he start explaining to us who he is as a person, I was saying, I, I get you telling us who you is, but I'm trying to understand why you telling us that because we don't have a problem with what you do and what you got going on, who you are. We don't have a problem with it. So what are you talking about? And so he, he started getting even more upset. So then he said, he blurted out and said, Nadine said that you just like your father. And I'm calling the police. So when he said that, I had no clue of what he was talking about because we're always together as a family. So my memory running, 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 running because we don't involve the police in our family. We don't even think about the police or nothing like that. And the, the crazy part is Nadine immediately is like, dream. That's a lie. So Dream was like, so you calling me a liar? So you calling me a liar? She's like, no, I'm not calling you a lie, but don't lie on me, Dream. Don't do that. And it's like, you did, you did. And I was just sitting, and I said, Dream, calm down, hold on. Now, now I'm in the middle, right? Because I felt like this was not the time to be neutral because something is happening here that's not, is wrong. I said, dream, you, you know your sister love you. You know your sister don't, thought process about you is never like that. And not only that, we literally do not think about your father in no situation. We don't even like think of him. We don't even consider him in our thought process. So why in the world would we say that? Or why would Nadine say that? So he said, Nadine said it. She said it. She did this. She did this. She said that. And I said, no, and they didn't come saying, no, I, no, no, no. He's like, it's okay. You blocked it out. It's okay. But he's still upset. He Now he upset the fact that he said they didn't block it out. And so I'm still running through the memories. And I'm trying to run through the memories. And I remember me and my son, when he was younger, we was in an um, argument. We was moving the bed and we were going back and forth with the bed and trying to move the bed out the uh, one of our apartments. Um, I fell. And I hurt myself, right? I said, well, Dream, I, I fell. Uh, but I ain't never say you was like your father. And they didn't say you was like your father. And we calling the police. He's like, Mom, I'm not talking about that. I'm, Mom, I'm not talking about that. No. So I'm still in my brain like, okay, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? So then he named the timeline. But he had the timeline wrong. So what happened was when he named where we was at, I was running through, running through the clips in my head and trying to remember this. And he said, we all three were basically in an argument and in a fight. So at that moment, I still didn't know what he's saying. So I started praying. I asked God to give me clarity so I could understand what's happening. So I'm a little tired right now. Just made it to Chipotle's. That's what I decided to get for dinner tonight. So I might have to finish what I'm saying probably another day. But um, I'm just say um, a little more. Okay, so when I start thinking, trying to understand what was happening, 
and really confused, I, I instantly started praying, asking God to give me clearly clarity and to unlock whatever I need to so I can get an understanding because I can tell that my son had a lot of passion about this. He was really upset about this because he was trying to tell us that he's not um, that person because when he think about his father and all the stuff that his father doing, have not doing but has done because we don't know what his father doing. We have nothing to do with his dad, but has done in the past when it comes to the abuse that I dealt with and other stuff that he does. Dream says he's not like him. He's not that kind of person. He's this, he's that. He tries to be um, the best version of himself. And we told him we see that. We And we love that about him. So we were just really confused. So while he was talking and still just getting very upset, um, especially when Nadine told him, okay, Dream, you're going to have to really calm down so that we can get clarity and understanding of what's happening. Where's this coming from? Because we wasn't even talking about anything that relates to the past. So what's going on so in the midst of that i asked dream was he mad at me like did i do something to him oh uh, is he mad at nadine and he was saying no this and no that and but he just upset about the fact of what nadine said to him and stuff like that and i was just all of a sudden clarity came i saw it i saw it he had the timeline wrong okay in this timeline, dream, um, rebellious, whatever. He he was just being like he's young. He's young. He's in his he's still like in his teens, but he's he's in his late teens. And um we all I got into an argument with Dream. And Dream was yelling. Like and they didn't say something to him like, Don't be talking to mommy like that. And then him and her got into it and then i jumped back into in front of dream and then it was me and dream and then nadine jumped into it. and next thing you know him and nadine wrestling and fighting y'all fighting they not kids and, and mind you this was their first literally fight since they were kids like since they became in like their late teens or their early teens they didn't fight in their early teens they didn't fight in their late teens they never fought. like their childhood fighting has stopped when they were children like when they was i think the last fight they had dream was about maybe uh, 11 or 12 and it was very small so um and you know dream uh started getting um very strong and 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 very tall so Nadine was like, uh-uh. She told me, she said last time they had a fight, she used to really get in there and, and get the best of him or he'll get the best of her. But then one day she realized, oh, heck no, Dream getting strong. <laughs> Let me just tell Dream we need to talk. But I ain't about to fight him because he a boy. You know, so that's how Dream, Nadine was talking. So they never got into any no more fights, no more physical fights when they were teens and late teens. So this particular time, um dream and nadine grabbing on each other i'm in the middle trying to get nadine and dream apart okay and um it, it it was it was just crazy i couldn't get them apart right and then uh finally nadine was like uh i kind of feel like dream kind of got the best of nadine she was like ah oh, uh-uh uh-uh next thing you know they were fighting again and dream took nadine and he lifted her up and he threw her down and it was scary it was one of the hardest throw downs i ever seen the right one i don't know so when he threw her down she hit the floor and i think she heard it and when she hit the floor he was still like ready to fight and she yelled at him and said you know what you just like your father i'm calling the police and that's when I was just like, that's it, stop it, that's it, that's it, you know. And it was so intense at that particular time. Dream went upstairs to his room and Nadine was crying and she was upset with him. She was hurt because she was like, don't nobody put their hands on her like that. Her father don't put their hands on her. Nobody put their hands on her. Nobody's going to put their hands on her. She was hurt. She was upset. 
So at that time, I think the, like within the very next day, they was already back laughing, talking, friendly. We was all back communicating. Okay, I got my Chipotle's, my dinner. I've been craving um, a Chipotle bowl. I got some queso and some chips, so now I'm on my way home. Now, yeah, he's stuck on a train track. Look at that. He's been trying for like five minutes trying to get off that track. I just pray a train don't come. That truck is definitely stuck. Oh, how he do that? Okay, he has it now. He got it? Good afternoon, Spare the Lights. It just turned afternoon. No, There's no sun out here in Houston at all there's no sun today for some reason they said it was going to be 70 degrees so I thought it was going to be like nice and sunny and feeling good but I got my heat on matter of fact let me turn my car off so it don't feel like I'm yelling okay I got my heat on um to keep me a little bit warm I got chilly oh my gosh oh my goodness I got so chilly uh, it's been quite a few days since I've been able to vlog again. I've been through, oh my goodness, so much in the last few days that I'm finally feeling somewhat better. Not all that, but somewhat better. Yesterday, I left the house and I was happy about leaving the house, but I left the house to go to the police station to file my police report again for the identity death. Like every time something go down, I'm gonna be at the police at the police station. And I do feel like they like, okay, she back. She is back again. Yes, I'm gonna continue um, filing police report every time I, I, I see something, hear something, or they notify me about something. And I feel like I'm not gonna stop until they stop trying to steal my identity because I feel like they're actually trying to take it like not just use it but I feel like they're trying to steal it so that's that's crazy you know but um this been going on I feel like I've been having problems ever since 2014 and um yeah I'm never gonna stop I'm gonna keep continue wherever I have to go and you know I'm also contact the places whenever something come up I contact them and get them all the information I could so that whoever try it again it's just not going to happen you know what I'm saying but uh, as far as like trying to open up a new account if they move and stuff like that it's crazy and I'm, I'm going to tell you where I'm at I don't have people buy stuff and, and, and order stuff and, and use my name I don't have people um, open up a bank account use my name they done took my money out my bank out my bank account, which had nothing to do with the bank account that they opened, and then um, tried to file my taxes. All, actually, they filed my taxes and was about to get a huge refund, but the IRS contacted me. And I was like, no, that's not me. That's not me at all, you know. And um, they, they, you know, then um, they put bills in my name, and these bills are huge, like, how you let bills get so huge? If a person don't pay their bill within one to three months, that's supposed to get cut off. They let it stay on a whole year. That don't even, I don't know. Anyway, I'm constantly at the police station and I'm going to continue doing that. Now, let me get back to where I was. What like I was telling y'all, <laughs> oh my God, the other day about me, Nadine, and Dream talking. Now, um, mind you that... Um, Dream was upset, and he was saying that, you know, Nadine said to him that you're just like your father, and I'm calling the police. Nadine, when he was telling us that, Nadine was like, she was just looking at him like, like, uh, I want to say like, um, not sad, but like, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can express it. No, I would never do that. And she said, Dream, I love you. You're my brother. I would never do that. I, don't, I would never say that. I don't even think about your father. It don't. Your father don't even come to my mind. Um, 
I see you as your own person. I love you. You my brother. I would never, ever do that. He said, you did. You did. He said, because, you know, and he started blurting out, screaming. Um, I threw you. I threw you. I picked you up and I threw you to the ground. And she said, no, Dream, you would never do that to me. And I was like, Dream, no, you didn't. I said, mean, you get into ruffles and stuff like that when me and him arguing. But not him and Dream, not him and Nadine. He was like, no, it was Nadine. I, we did, I did, I did. I pushed you real hard and I shouldn't have never put my hands on you and I shouldn't have never hurt you like that. And she was like, I'm sorry, Dream, but I, I, don't, I don't remember that. I don't think you would ever do that to me and I don't think I would ever say that to you. So in the midst of all of this chaos going on because Dream was getting so upset that Nadine couldn't remember anything like that and I don't remember anything like that. But then as I start praying and going through the memories and he mentioned one of the locations that he think it happened at, the memories started unlocking, unlocking. When it unlocked, I seen it all. I did, I seen it all. And what happened, like I said before, it was me and Dream that got into the argument. We was arguing, it's like mom and son stuff, um, stuff that I wanted him to do, stuff I needed him to do, and he wasn't playing on. He wasn't doing it, he wasn't trying to do it. Plus, you know, he got to the point where, you know, I only want to say rebellious the word, but just didn't want to do right. At the time, you know, um, he just wanted to do what he wanted to do. And it wasn't the plans that we had talked about. So I was upset. And he was in my face and I was in his face. Nadine jumped in the middle of it. And he was so freaking mad telling Nadine to move. And I was like uh, going off on him. Like I was about to jump on Dream. And me and Dream was about to be rolling around like a big bush. Like fighting. Right? <laughs> Nadine jumped in. And uh, Nadine uh, told him he's not going to be jumping in mommy face or whatever. They got into it. And uh, he it got heated. It got heated. He ended up picking up Nadine and he threw her to, to the floor. And she hit the floor hard. And I'm going to tell y'all this. When it did happen, Nadine was not hurt physically. Because he didn't hurt her physically. She was okay. But she was spiritually hurt. She was so upset with Dream. She was so sad. But then... Within, like, the next day, right after that, they was already starting to talk. Within three days, um, we was all over it. You know, just over everything. Dream apologized to Nadine. We was over it. We was all riding back together. We was all hanging out together. We was shopping together. We was right back, cloak, you know, cool again, right? So I'm going to tell you what went wrong. What went wrong was Dream apologized for putting his hands on Nadine. And arguing with me or whatever. And I told Dream, he didn't have to apologize to me because I was arguing with him back. You know what I'm saying? It was just how we both felt. And, um, but Nadine never apologized to him for saying he just like his father or that she was calling the police. And, the, and he said, now in the current day, he said, now I kind of understand the reaction because of how hard he threw her and hit to the floor it shocked her she was hurt because at times she was saying her father don't put her hands on her no man put his hands on her his, her brother like out of all people she was hurt that he did that right even if they argue and he's not supposed to get to the point where you lose control and put your hands on a person and he did so she was hurt but he understood that what she said came out of what he did it was a response to what he did and nadine just felt so bad she told him she's sorry that she don't remember but she's sorry that she said that to him she ne we never called the police she never called the police um it was like i think we it, it only lasted like 10 minutes you know um and he apologized to her again but he harvests that inside of him for so long without really breaking it down, talking to us and explaining it to us and explaining to us why it made him so upset. And um, so there was things that happened in our life that Dream would do and we would be confused. We would, we would not understand like what's going on. Like all of a sudden we getting along then all of a sudden he mad with us and, 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 and we'd be confused, you know? And that's because he was harvesting what what had happened in the past so when it happened 
when it happened, me and Nadine, we we moved on. We moved on from it. We never carried it with us. It it completely went out of Nadine's memory. She doesn't remember it at all. It happened so fast. And with me, I just completely never even thought about it again. But Dream carried it with him. So finally, we finally got it all out. We had the conversation. And now, and I'm so glad that we did because now we're in a better space and we understand some of the stuff that might have took place that shouldn't have took place, which was weird. Um, some of the stuff that we couldn't understand. But, but immediately I can see that all of us was in a better place. I could see dream spirits lift. I could see Nadine's spirit lift. I could feel my spirit lift. And I felt good because, you know, um, you have to have good communication. You have to be able to be, even though you want to say, 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 you also got to be able to receive what the other person is saying too and being able to listen to the other person to really get down to the nitty gritty of what's really going on. And sometimes people can carry stuff with them. Like people take stuff from a memory that you may not take from a memory. Like um, something may happen and everybody is individual people. So they pull things, individual things from each thing. And you don't know what a person is going to pull or what's going to stick with them that will uh, affect them or bother them throughout their life from a memory where, you know, some people may not put anything from it. So you can't just assume that everybody feels the same way you do. So once you start talking to each other, especially if you love each other and communicating well, you're going to see that there was just a huge misunderstanding. And now you don't have to harvest those, those bad feelings and missing out on the opportunity to feel the love the, the respect, the joy that come from being family and friends and stuff like that. So uh, I feel so good that we was able to go through what we went through, but still we always been able to talk. Our family always been able to resolve issues. It never, we never had an issue that went this long and knew that somebody hold on to something this long but whenever something come up, we're able to get together and say, okay, we need to talk about this because I feel this way or or I feel like you feel some type of way, we need to go ahead and talk about it. God, do y'all know what it means when a person take a parking space and they take almost, like they got their parking space, but then they park so far over the line that the other person don't have enough to even pull their car in? That means don't park by my car. <laughs> I guess that's what they saying. So I was like, dang, well, it's a good thing it's another parking space because all the parking space is full. At, I'm at Walgreens and I always see that, especially when they got like night, I guess they they feel like they got a new car. It's a big car. They're going to take two parking space. It's rude, one. But then, I don't know. I just don't know. I guess they just don't want nobody parking by the car. I feel like if you're going to do something like that, park in the back parking space is like, like the way nobody park at. But in the part where people need to just walk in and get into the store, I think that's rude. But yeah, but that's what they're saying. Don't park by my car. <laughs> that's what they're saying. I'm telling my car. I don't know why the car sounds so loud. I'm going to be taking the car in for service soon because it definitely needed Diamond acting like she needs some type of service. I know we need to get like an oil change, a wheel balance, and we got to do an inspection. Got me some MMs. I was thinking about my son, and I was saying, Dad, I feel bad that he had that in his heart for so long. Because at one point, he was trying to explain to me that what kind of person he is. And I was so confused because when we was conversating, all three of us, it wasn't about us individual personal. We was talking about something else in another situation that we're not involved in and we was discussing it. 
And out of nowhere, he starts saying, I do this. I do that. I think he even said he used to work overcompensate when he's dealing with certain people. To sh basically show that he's nothing like his father. And I was saying, mm hmm, I agree with you. I agree with you, Trina. Mm hmm. But then I realized he was telling me that. I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to explain that to me. And I get it. I know who you are. Mm hmm. And it's like, no, I do. No, I do. And it was because. He was thinking that we felt that he was like, he was so much like his father, which is not in his opinion or I guess our opinion. He don't want to be like him and I get it. I definitely get it. Especially with the fact that part of the reason why they're not close it's because when my son confronted him about what he did to me, he put his hands on my son in the worst way. So, I definitely get it. <sighs> Y'all, I'm thirsty now. Oh, that's because my food. I ate my food this morning. It was so good. And I had, um, I had, um, had got it the night before. But it was so delicious this morning. I ate it like breakfast. I couldn't eat last night. I just didn't feel uh, so good. But yeah. But I feel better today. I feel better today. Um, I didn't have as much energy after everything I went through um, in the last few days. And I just wanted something good to eat when I come, came out of it. But when I went to go buy it and got home, I just felt really overwhelmed with thinking about everything. So I just, just went to bed. But yeah. So in the back, I got a new wheelchair. I got to name her. It's not really a wheelchair. It's like an assistant chair. It's not something I could wheel around. But if i am got to walk a long way or when I'm going in the hospital, it's easier for me and Nadine to get in there. Because then that way I'm not in nobody's way and nobody's making me feel nervous or the floor is not too slippery and I end up having a terrible accident. And that's the last thing I need, y'all. That's the last thing I need is to have a terrible accident. I don't, oh my God, y'all. I got so much to tell y'all. Like, when I finally, like, let loose of everything, y'all gonna say, my God, spirit, I didn't even know that you've been through all of this over these years. I've been through a lot, y'all. But I, Nadine finally said, she know that I give it all. And I and, and even in my pain, um, I push through. But she feel like it's better for me to, to get in the chair and they get me where I need to go if the floors are gonna be slippery or I'm, especially when I'm not feeling well, because the last thing I need is to, to get really, really hurt, you know? So I'm happy about that. I like my chair. And we got it from Walmart. She ordered it from Walmart. Uh, it was only like 100 and maybe $20 plus tax and shipping. And they shipped it. And then her and Dream put it together. They had to take it apart a couple of times. <laughs> they had to take it apart a couple of times. But they finally got it. They got it together. And I like her. It's so smooth. I, um, I don't feel like it's bumpy or scary or nothing like that. And it's so comfortable. I got so much room in it. Um, I like it. But um, once I make it from one point to the next point, 
then I don't use it. I'm not going to use it. It's not something that you're going to roll around or nothing like that. I'm still going to get out and, and give it my best to keep staying mobile and keep pushing my muscles and keep trying to like um, do what I can as long as I possibly can. But I, child, I don't know. Sometimes I just get, I get into my feelings thinking about stuff, like thinking about the stuff that happens and the stuff that I can't tell y'all because I don't want y'all to feel sorry for spirit. Like, I don't want y'all to feel so bad for me sometimes. I just, because it takes a lot for me not to feel sorry for myself sometimes. Sometimes I just get so overwhelmed with the stuff that I go through. I just get so overwhelmed, y'all. But I be trying to hold it together and I try to like get make the best out every moment. Like today, I feel so good about today. Today is such a, it's turning out to be a beautiful day. Even though it's gloomy. <laughs> it's so freaking gloomy. But y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm across the street from this old fashioned like hot dog place or something. Y'all, and I'm looking at it like, I bet you that food good over there. Even though that place old fashioned. Let me show y'all. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me turn off my car a little bit. I need to bring this closer. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that little place over there, y'all. People over there, they, they getting their food. I saw one lady out there sitting out there enjoying her food earlier. They stopping over. They coming in and um, dropping in and out that thing. I bet you the food over there is good. I might look old. I'm kind of ranky day. But I bet you that's, that place got some good food. But y'all know, I'm going to always do my best to kind of tell you what I can tell you to keep you updated with what's going on with spirits. Especially the ones that that like me for my, um, my personality and for who I really am as a person. And that's why you keep up with me and follow me. And I love that about y'all. I really do. So I try to keep y'all informed as much as I can on some stuff. And some stuff I don't tell y'all. Well, like I told y'all before, there's a time and place for everything. And I like to do stuff on God's timing. When God told me to do something, I like to do it. And sometimes I miss it. But I don't do it when God tells me to do it. I don't know when it's going to come back around. But me to go ahead and do what God asked me to do. Cause I feel like when God is right there with me, it come out the way it was supposed to come out. And when I do it on my own timing, I start thinking about what can I leave out? <laughs> what can I not tell y'all? How can I change it around a little bit? So it's not so, don't don't seem so bad, you know? So, I don't like to do stuff on my time. When it comes to like, telling y'all about my life, I like to do it when God say tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's just like my documentary, y'all. My documentary, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, y'all. I. So many answers. So many things I didn't know. I'm turning the car because I don't need it. But I'm thinking about rolling down the window. Just no. Do I look to the left? Let me keep my window up. I was about to turn my car down, but now I'm gonna lock it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me turn down the heat. I wanted to turn the, the window down, turn the car off. And sometimes I feel like the car is so loud. But first I got to make sure my surroundings is like good. You know what I'm saying? And right now I'm at like one of them little uh, wash terrier places. The washing laundry mats. so much closure out of doing my documentary 
and what, whatever else I needed to complete that wholeness and fulfillment in my heart, my documentary gave that to me. They gave it to me. It really made me appreciate myself as a person and who I was. It gave me a, a really understanding of who I am as a, as I was as a mother and how much I was just seemed like I was always fighting against the force of everything. Like people and things, just stuff, just like whenever I wanted to do, do certain things or I was doing certain things, things just came up against me. And I always found myself literally just fighting to just keep my kids out, you know, from the system. And just people was always trying to find a way to have my kids removed from me. And by the grace of God, thank God, none of my kids were removed from me. Now, one left, but none of them were taken from me. Just thank you, Lord. And even in that situation, my oldest daughter before she left was trying to cause mischievous intent with with causing herself and, and other children to be removed from the home so i'm just i'm just grateful that that didn't happen i'm so grateful about that y'all it's open